Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. We are in the presence of a cultural icon, a physical specimen, a controversialist, a master orator, a champ. And we've also got Andrew Tate. <laughs> <laughs> that was smooth. I like that. I was sitting there thinking, I'll take this introduction. I'll take this. But uh, thank you. How are you doing, man? I'm good, G. You? You're good, yeah? yeah? Well, I think a lot of people who've been following me for a while understand that I've been mm. very respectful of Islam for a long time. Yeah, sure. I was born in a Christian country. I was raised as a Christian. And I've always been very respectful of Islam. And it's become more and more obvious to me and, and more and more pertinent that Islam is the last religion mm. on the planet. Mm. When I talk about Islam, because I'm new to it, yeah. I, I, I'm a little bit careful, right? Because I'm new to it. I'm certainly not a scholar. There's so much I need to learn. I know I'm on a learning journey. I'm not here to sit here and, and talk scripture. I, I don't know those things yet. I'm here to learn. Yeah. But, and, we, and we're here at your assistance. Anyway, thank you, bro. Thank well, you. Honestly. Thank you. Yeah. But um, it's just for me, it feels like the last religion on earth. I feel like there's no other religion. People say to me, why did you convert? And I said, I don't really think, feel it as a conversion. I, it's almost like I knew God was real and now I've become religious. And they say, well, you were religious before. I was like, religious before how? Christian? Mm. What does Christian mean? Like, who's not a Christian? You go to Christian nations and everyone says they're a Christian. Look how they live their lives. Go yeah. into the average church. Is anyone actually fearful of God? Anybody? Mm -hmm. No. The girls were out on Saturday night drinking and mm. they turn up to church because their parents made them. Mm -hmm. Like, there's, there's no substance to the religion. And also... Islam very closely reflects my personal beliefs. I, through my personal life, I've yeah. learned that if you don't have standards and you're not a strong person who's prepared to defend his ideas, you'll be crushed. Yes. And we look at most religions in the world today which are not prepared to defend their ideas. What's happened to them? They're just getting crushed. And yeah. now we have Christianity as an idea which has basically said, well, we can't set any firm rules because everyone will just quit. So instead, let's make it so easy to be a Christian that nobody has to put any effort in yeah. and then accept everybody no matter what. And hopefully we can keep the church doors open. <laughs> that's not, that's not yeah, God yeah. to me. You know, yeah, yeah. God to me is, is strong. God to me is something to be feared. Yeah. God to me is something, someone that people are afraid to mock. Yeah. God to me is someone that you have to go out of your way to prove something to. God to me has red lines. Yeah. Like God to me re represents the Islamic faith. The Christian God to me, I don't see God. I, yeah. I can't explain. I don't see anything there. So yeah. to me, it was, it was the only logical choice wow. in the end. And this is why perhaps I, f I found God the way I did because mm. I understood all these things first and then i saw the quran and it confirmed so many things for me you know like i've even the conversations i've been having so far so many things have been confirmed and it's amazing the knowledge that's inside of it which is so applicable today yeah, yeah. for 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 an old book right you know it's supposed to be old but it seems yeah. so so timeless but it's truly amazing but you're you're totally right and and the baseline morality, I don't think most people understand that when they're doing this under the guise of tolerance, when they're saying be so tolerant that you no longer believe in right from wrong, they're not doing that to make society a better place. They're doing that to empty your brain so that you have no resistance to the slave mind programming. They want to yeah. get you to a point where if they tell you the sky is green, yeah. you look at with your own eyes yeah. and you see blue, but no, the sky is green. That's what they want. So that you have to have nothing in your brain that can prevent that. If you have God... If you have, no, I believe this is Good right point. and wrong. Yeah. If yeah. you have personal responsibility, if you have self-accountability, mm -hmm. if you're a person who sticks up for what he believes, all that's bad to them. They want all of that gone yeah. so they can tell you the sky is green. Some people recognize when I convert to Islam that there was a time I was an atheist. There was a time when I was atheistic. Mm. And the reason I am now so absolutely certain that God is real is because yeah. I've seen evil. I've seen shaitan. I've seen it. When you see enough evil, you realize that there must be an equal and opposite force. And there are people out there in the world today doing the work of the devil, genuine demons, who are trying to destroy the baseline morality that's inside of all of us. We're all born with some kind of morality, and they're trying to destroy it. And that's exactly the Islamic understanding, that we believe that you're born with something called fitrah. One, one guy I was talking to since my conversion says, it's interesting that somebody with everything, all the Western world, everything, yeah, yeah. everything somebody w could want exactly. has now converted. And I said, yeah, because even before my conversion, I understood that hedonism is a black hole mm. and you can never fill it. Mm -hmm. You're never going to be able to have enough girls to be happy with girls. You're never going to be able to have enough money to be happy with money. You're never yeah, yeah. going to be able to, you know, drink enough to be happy with drinking. Like it's a black hole and you can pour endless things down it, but you'll never fill it up. And you need to have some degree of self-restraint. And I've always been a very disciplined person. I've never made mistakes, but certainly, yeah, the higher power is, is, is going to give you more satisfaction in your heart than endless, endless insanity. 